sides of the product goggle it know the ingredients that are in it be sure that the percentage of these ingredients are something your skin can tolerate hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Inenna. in case this is your first time of coming across this channel please don't let this video be your last one okay yes so if this is your first time of coming across this channel my name is Nina, and i do all things skincare lifestyle vlogging and wellness if this sounds like something you're interested in kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and to my returning subscribers you guys are the real mvps i really do appreciate you your efforts your time your data for always coming back to watch my video thank you i really do appreciate you so today i am going to be sharing tips on how to achieve a youthful healthy radiant and glowing skin i mean something that i have tried and it has worked for me so i feel okay i could share with my women and let them benefit as well so the first thing you need to do is to be sure that you are reading the labels on your products when you buy your products read the label a lot of people now take instructions about their skin from the internet and stuff and i understand okay i appreciate the fact that the girlies who um, make discoveries of this product who come across this product use them and it works for them i appreciate the fact that they are not trying to get skip things that have worked for them but once you come across such video what do you need to do as a person ensure that you read the label as a matter of fact google the product so that you understand the ingredients Aside from understanding the ingredients, so you also know the level, the percentage of the actives that are contained in the product. It is very important because sometimes when you react to product, it could just mean that the percentage of the particular active in that product is high. For example, some people's skin cannot tolerate 10% niacinamide. So what do you do? You start with a lower concentration. Some people's skin cannot tolerate 20% vitamin C extract. So what do you do? You start with a lower concentration so yes always read the label um read your product the label and be sure to follow the instructions of the producers the next tip i'm going to be sharing is stop jumping on every trend really because i feel that um with the advent of a lot of skincare girlies on the internet that a lot of people no longer you know try to like pay attention to things okay stop jumping on different trends now like i said earlier if you're getting a skincare product be sure that you're getting something that is suitable for your skin that it works for me does not mean that it's going to work for you okay so stop jumping on trends if it is not important don't buy it some people you're just okay with like your three-step routine your four step routine but because because of pressure because of pressure i understand i understand pressure can be worse it could get worse and you'll be like okay let me try this product some persons you do not have acne but because somebody reviewed the product and said oh this works for my acne you'll go and buy it you're trying to fix something that is not broken you're trying to fix something that is not broken that's not nice sis stop jumping on every trend be sure that your um, routine is exactly what is tailored for your skincare and your, your skin type and your skin concern okay it is very important all right yeah so the next um tip i'm going to be sharing is this one works particularly for me if you look you see that i'm always on nails it is like it's not as if it's something that i like to do but it has really helped me okay so the tip is stop picking your face you cannot be working so hard spending money buying products to clear up your hyperpigmentation and every single time your hand is on your face if you have acne you have um black head um white head that you need to take out please seek a professional to do it for you it is very important you need a professional to help you do your extraction stop picking your face if you want your um post inflammatory hyperpigmentation to fade out completely you need to stop picking your face it is very important that you stop picking your face all right so the next tip that i'm going to also be sharing is exfoliating as much as we always talk about exfoliation it is also very important for you to know that you cannot afford to be over exfoliating your skin so to exfoliate your skin maybe for your face you can do that like twice or three times in a week 
that's with the chemical exfoliants of course because you you you, you 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 cannot be using physical scrubs on your face yes i know sometimes they will say oh it's very it's for face and body please physical scrubs are not for your face so yes exfoliate your face with a chemical exfoliant and for your body the physical exfoliant will do, all right? So exfoliation is key. You need to exfoliate your skin to enable your product, you know, penetrate into your body and deliver effectively, all right? So that's pretty much it. Exfoliation is key. And over exfoliating can as well ruin things for you, all right? The next tip I'm going to be sharing is, I know this may, you know, you've heard this a lot of time. Keep your routine simple. It's very important that you keep your routine simple. You don't need all those plenty products especially if you do not know how to navigate through them yet so just keep it simple limit it to your cleanser your treatments your moisturizer and of course your sunscreen these four things are just okay until you know your way around using these other products before you start to incorporate or incorporate them but for the time being Keep your routine simple. And then the next tip I'm going to share, you've always heard this. If you meet anybody that is into skincare, the first thing they want to tell you is sunscreen. And what I say to my clients is before you, as you're drawing up your budget to purchase your sunscreen, uh, your skincare products, create space for your sunscreen. It is very important. You need to apply your sunscreen and reapply it every two hours because every other routine that you do, we will come to nothing if you're not applying sunscreen. So it is very important that you apply your sunscreen and also reapply after every two hours. And for your body, you need to wear like protective clothing. Do you understand? Because I mean, sunscreens are expensive and I don't see myself buying sunscreen to be rubbing on my body. So I will just try to be wearing protective clothing for my body. But for my face down to my neck and my chest area, I ensure that I apply my sunscreen effectively. And you should too. So the next um, tip I'm going to be sharing is what eat fruits and vegetables i know this may sound cliche but it is important fruits vegetables and drink enough water you need to hydrate your body you need to hydrate your skin from the inside out you know when you hydrate your body from the inside and then you use your um, hydrating product or every other of your skincare product on the outside there is a synchronization of the both that you know comes together and gives you a better healthy and a youthful um, glowing skin all right so it is important that you begin to eat vegetables you begin to eat fruits you begin to drink enough water even when you're not thirsty drink water yes i said it so the next tip i'm going to be sharing is drink teas drink teas apart from it being very good for your gut health Teas will help you curb inflammation from the inside out. It helps your body, like it set, gets your body started. So buy teas. There are different kinds of teas, but my favorite is the one from the Tetley and the one from the Lipton brand. I love teas from these two brands. And of course, the Twinings. These people make really, really, really nice teas. And I love them. So you can just buy maybe one, two, maybe um, teas that have cinnamon, honey, green tea, you know, stuff like that. Just buy teas. Drink teas for your own good. Drink teas, okay? The last tip that will help you achieve a youthful, glowy, and healthy skin, this is very important, is double cleansing. Yes, double cleansing. If you wear your sunscreen throughout the day, okay, imagine doing a three-step routine in the morning or let's say a four-step routine in the morning so you have a serum on your face you have a moisturizer on your face and you have a sunscreen you have three layers of product and then you keep adding another layer of sunscreen every two hours this is enough to get your pores all clogged up okay so what you need to do when you get home is you double cleanse your face that is where um the cleansing balm comes in you can use a cleansing balm but if you can if you do not have the um, resources to buy a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil separately you can just use your face cleanser just use it twice you know you pump the first one wash your face rinse off and then you do the second one cleanse your face twice this will help you take out all the debris all the dirt all the gems that has accumulated on your face during the course of the day so it helps your Skincare, your nighttime routine to, you know, be seamless, allows your product to penetrate into your skin while you sleep and relax your nerves just like a baby. So, yes, I hope you find those tips useful and I hope you find this video interesting. And yes, 
um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share this video with your friends and tell them about this channel okay and i'll be